So HPC stands for High Performance Computing and what most people think about when you talk about HPC is uh, big uh, computing centers. And that's a niche market, so that would not uh, justify uh, investing in innovation. But it turns out that high performance computing is much broader than that. Uh, think data centers that actually uh, is, uh, are very important for our everyday life when we are uh, you know, uh, asking for uh, information. Think about AI, which is uh, people are talking about today, where you need really high performance uh, computing to, in real time, do uh, recognition. So for those reasons, it is very important to invest in innovation in HPC. Yeah, so if we start from the uh, research idea, very importantly, if you think that if you have some asset, a technology asset that you believe could is solving a key problem, you should, as early as you can, first of all, make sure that your idea is the only one, only idea that can solve this particular problem. And going to the problem, it needs to be you ma must uh, make um, sub sufficiently clear that um, the, the problem is, uh, the problem you're solving is solving a pain problem, what we call a pain problem for a customer. That is, it's a must have, not nice to have, that it's a mu uh, uh, must have. And um, uh, then focus is very important, is the third tips you often end up early on, oh, I could do this, I could do that, and I could do that. But you need to focus, laser focus, I would say, on getting out. And what is so nice with a startup is that, unlike a big company, you could ask, how can a team of five people, you know, beat a big uh, multinational? But uh, the reason is that small is also a strength. I used to say you can real-time navigate and get your research idea to fit exactly. Big company is, is like a big elephant, cannot move as easily, right? So agility is what is really making it fun. Uh, so Zero Point is my second startup, uh, so I had some experience when we started that. But I would like to go back actually to the core idea why we started Zero Point. And that actually go, goes away uh, quite a long time, I would say 15 years. And the, 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 it's kind of a cute story because the, the way I came up with the core idea that led to a lot of research in my research lab before we we um, started the company was actually I was um, reading tales for my daughter. She's today 20. She was not, uh, so you can see how way long way. And it used to go that way that I, I read tales and then waited for her to sleep. And then I was laying down and I am a person that want to make every good use of every second. So I started to think about cute ideas that and came up with why aren't we compressing data in the memory? If we would do that fast and quickly, then you know you could save energy, you could save costs, lots of goodies. And then, oh, she's sleeping. I ran up, did literature search, and thought, uh, saw that people had just scratched on the surface, so I said, this is a great thing. So I actually bet it on, on this and uh, had uh, two free PhD students working on it. And now let's uh, um, move 10 years later. And then with one PhD student, we really got it to work. And noted very early, me and my PhD student, that there is a real market value here. And so we started to patent. It's very important to keep your unique technology idea uh, protected, okay? So we patented early. We did all that according to the book. And then, um, and uh, did a lot of uh, tests that it could actually work, but that was still a long way until it could uh, fly. 
And we got investments, we started the company, and, and then we started to really build the prototype so we could go out there. And, but we, I started to talk to customers from day one, right? Even though I just had you know, simulation results and things like that. So being a salesman with a slide deck is something you really have to do, right? It's a lot of fun to create a startup company, but you must like roller coaster rides because it's going to be up and down, you know, oh, now we have something and then something happens. And it, it's multidimensional. It's about getting the right team, uh, really a, a team that is patient enough, you know, uh, mentally good enough to take these roller coaster rides. I have developed a lot as a person in, 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 in a context, but it's a lot of fun always. I mean, it's really fun. I mean, I have a lot of fun with my uh, research at the university, but I mean, this is really fun, exciting, really. Uh, so what we are very proud of is what we call innovation pipe, the innovation pipeline. And a pipeline is often composed of several stages and in, in this context we want to basically support the whole chain from a research idea and taking that to the market okay and we do that <coughs> with the following um, uh, steps the first steps is actually to uh, teach researchers at for example university organizations how to think about their um, uh, uh, innovations in order to make them market ready. So we have offered courses with the name Bring uh, re Your Research Idea to, to, to the Market. That's step number one. Step number two is that we have what is called a call for business prototyping projects. A business prototyping project is <coughs> an early stage project when you, where you're supposed to work out, ask an, uh, set up hypotheses for a number of key questions. First, what is the value that your innovation is uh, offering? Uh, second, what, uh, who are the uh, potential customers? And third, how what is your hypothesis how you can generate a revenue stream with your unique idea? And um, a business prototyping project is actually hitting on these three questions. You're supposed to uh, come up with answers, you could say, in a typical three-month project. And the project is such that, I mean, you take this uh, uh, hypothesis and then you go out and ask potential customers for, for, uh, to, to learn about. If you think that the value is, for example, to reduce uh, the energy consumption, then you can, with interviews with potential customers, figure out how big a pain problem is that, or does the customer have, uh, has, uh, does the customer have any other solutions to the problem, or is your unique solution to it uh, sufficient? to uh, go out there. So that's in a nutshell what the business prototyping project is. Then we also have um, uh, uh, technology transfer calls. Um, well, the idea is essentially to identify a taker of a technology and then in, again, uh, a project that is uh, a couple of months, do the transfer of that so that you can dock, you could say, your concept with the product I, I, at, the, at, the, at the customer's site. 